So pretty Beautiful. and so inviting. I'm Thank so excited you. with our next guest here because here to show us how to make a beautiful summer centerpiece on a budget is Floris Jackie Cone. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. So Thank good you. to have you here. Thank you so much. So what is the best way to find flowers that are mm. in season? Great question. Well, uh, local farmers markets, Love it. grocery Love it. stores. Yep. Farmers markets are my favorite. They're inexpensive, they have a huge variety, and they always have what's in season in your area. Wow. So what's in season in our area right now? Well, wow. yeah. <laughs> Dahlias are a very big time favorite. Wow, that's um, they're a summer and fall flower. And garden roses. Garden this roses are so lovely. They smell so lovely. Yeah, and guess what? If you grow these, you just saved a ton of money yes, getting did. them out of your own garden. Um, this is another variety of dahlia called a oh, ball dahlia, and those come that. in the greatest colors. Oh, Bright orange. colors, yellow, orange, hot pink, oh, gorgeous. every color you could think of. Fuchsia, they're just one of my favorites, and they last a very long time. Oh, they time. do. See, mm -hmm. that's important. And I love how yeah. she mixed this all around, Deb, exactly. like all these yeah. different well, heights. And, and not just, also fruits and herbs yep. Yep. as well, not just flowers. I so. love incorporating fruits and herbs and vegetables. It's <laughs> unexpected. It really is. is. I mean, and who would expect? An artichoke right coming to your dinner Would party. Would you like a cucumber? We have plenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah I saw that. Where? <laughs> yes. Um, and you see that you can make actually a table runner out of just things that you already have either around the house or right outdoors. That's right. A table runner out of greenery is one of my favorites. Most of this we cut outside. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Oh, that's this beautiful. Is beautiful. Yeah. And it's fragrant. And oh. we have some um, some uh, sword fern. And pepperberry is beautiful, and it has these little colorful peppers on it. Did you get that pepperberry from our front yard? Because we have a pepper tree. I we came, in, I came here in the middle of the night, and I, <laughs> with oh. my clippers, and I chopped it all down. You know what, can someone down. call the police? Where's Kelly <laughs> well, Martin? Kelly Martin? Wait, we have su surveillance footage, and we're yeah. gonna roll that. Sorry, I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, and olive, olive branches are beautiful, and um, this time of year, they actually have the little teeny tiny green fruit somewhere around here. Yeah. So, but, it, but it's not just about the table runner, no. it's also about the vases and the glasses right. and the candle holders. So what would be best, would you say, for an arrangement like this? Well, I found all of these vintage um, goblets and oh. glasses at a thrift store, believe it or not. Oh. I'm not kidding, yep, I bought about 30 of them. So and they're very about, affordable. But what they about are the gold. Those these look expensive. Little, nope. These were clear when I bought them, and they're very, very inexpensive. And we just paint them gold or silver or a little bit of craft paint. Yep, a little Did bit of craft paint. Did you also get that from our craft room here? Is there something you'd like to tell me? <laughs> now that one, not not okay. yet. I'm working on that. <laughs> what about the candle holders? Yeah, so the candle funny. holders, these I actually found at a dollar store. So we, we bought quite a few of those, and also it just gives an element of elegance to your yeah. table. And how you mix and match. You've got silver, you've got crystal, you've got, mm -hmm. because I always was a little intimidated, Deb, that I would go to people's houses and they had all this perfect matching china and perfect right. vases. No. But I love this. Yeah, this is great because if you collect like I do, you can just put it all out on the table. Wonderful. Don't be afraid to mix colors and textures and 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 all of that. It all blends. What? The truth is, some of these these little vases so you can get at drugstores. It's true for two ninety nine. Yeah, or less. Even or less. less. Ninety nine cents. Even sometimes. less. I've seen them for fifty cents. All right, yep. Jackie, what about just your final tips? So the guests are ready to arrive. Okay. They're ringing the doorbell. We've got this all done. What's a last minute tip we could do? A last minute tip. These little guys didn't make it into the flower arrangements, oh. so we have them left over, and I just love to tuck those in here and there, oh, down the garland. It just gives a little pop of color, so a little pretty. bit more texture, oh. and they wanted to come to the party, so they're here. Oh, those are your they coffee didn't berries, them. by the these way. Are oh my gosh, yep. I love that. Yep. These are coffee berry. Yes. They come in all different colors. And then look what you did over here I on did. the With napkin. the herbs. These are napkin treatments, so we oh. use a little lavender here, or rosemary. rosemary. We have some sage Just over there. Spring. And then a little piece of twine to hold it all together. And it gives it that finishing touch, makes your guests feel special. Just and beautiful, Jackie. I mean, Thank twine you. knot.
Oh, Mark is wow. literally, <laughs> literally, he's just getting sparky. I'm doing all day. this all for Mark. He's so bad. His presence is still here. The ghost of Mark <laughs> yeah. is. How much would this cost yeah. us? Give us the final cost. Well, believe it or not, you can do something like this for around forty dollars. What? Uh, or you know what? Probably expensive. even less if you just go in our backyard or yeah. anyone's or backyard. Or out there. Yeah, or, yeah anywhere. <laughs>